Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back for the second episode of Disoriented. This is episode one, the second episode. The first episode was episode zero, because I start counting at zero. And, uh, we did get a bit disoriented last episode. Most of the levels are pretty easy, but then the last one was actually somewhat challenging. So let's see, it seems we start in this one atop a weird spire area. We can fall down over here, or over here. Let's not, don't think it matters where, though. Yeah, because it's just connected. Interesting. There's that. Like, why would you put it in such an easily accessible area? That's what I don't understand. Like, you would think you'd put them in hard-to-get areas. Does that have a, like, he a texture to it? It has a sort of texture to it that... ...moves with my screen. And that it doesn't move on the screen. Like, if you put your finger on the texture on the screen, the texture doesn't actually move, but it moves on the object. Weird. There's some cartoons that are animated that way. So let's see here, we can... Let's go fi figure out what this does, first of all. Ooh. Why, hello there. I don't see how we can get to that just yet, so... Well, actually, I do. This is the fastest movement speed I can go right now. So let's see, we can go over here. But if we go here, I'm gonna create a checkpoint. That icon in the bottom left corner that was there briefly is a checkpoint. Ooh. Interesting. Why would I want to change that? Achievement unlocked, little garden. Okay. At least we can get back here easily. Oh, there's a switch over there, huh? What does that do for us? Ooh. So why would we ever want this off? Doesn't make anything disappear, right? Uh... Although, I do see a problem. How do I get back? <laughs> uh... Oh dear. Maybe if I fall down here? Perhaps... Or... Uh... Right, yeah, and then I can get back from here. Awesome. Right, so let's move... let's rotate this guy again. And it's so weird to see the sky move like that. Like, watch the sky. That's <laughs> so... strange. Uh... Hmm... That would allow us to do... what exactly? That would allow us to travel in a loop. Where's the exit again? The exit is... Oh, it's actually there, huh? Wait, have I been able to access the exit this whole time? No, surely not. I need to find a way... ...to fall onto here. Hold on a sec here. Exit's right there, right? But I need to fall on it a certain way. I need to fall onto there, right? How do I move that? Is that that guy? I think that is that guy. Let's try it. There's a lot of walking around in here, like why is this so unnecessarily long distances? That's one of my complaints so far. Actually, I don't see how this helps much. How are we gonna get up there? I need to, like... I need to, like, be upside down, almost. I 
think this is the only orientation I want that in. So close. Yet so far. Don't need to press the switch again. Is there a way I can rotate this? That'll allow me to fall the way I want to fall. So I can connect to that. Or I can connect to that. This is an even weirder configuration of things. Like, why would I ever want this? Doesn't get me any closer to that. Huh. Must be some combination of rotating these things that I don't see. Maybe now that we've got it this way, maybe I should try rotating that? Cause I can fall here now. Oh, actually I can- oh yeah, I can get there. Oh, now music comes back? Why is the music come and go as it pleases? That's always strange. There's no orientation of this that'll let me fall up. I need to fall... to there... somehow. Or walk on this part. That's not gonna work. Huh. We move this again. I'm gonna try every orientation of this. That's not too useful, actually. Now it's just out there, in space, connected to nothing. I think there's two ways to get here. Makes me feel like I'm missing something. What if I do that, and then go back? That doesn't seem helpful. see a way to get there. What about that? No, that's also not too helpful. That? Seems unhelpful, but you never know.
Wait, maybe now I can connect it. Like that. Aha! Uh -huh. How's that? Yeah, there we go. Is that helpful? At all? That's different, at least. Ah yes, now we can finally fall down here. So it was a matter of doing something that didn't seem useful, only to connect it up later. And again, the, the real difficulty was just because there were no dashed lines to indicate where the possible connection points were. If I could see the dashed lines, this wouldn't be hard at all. It's- it's fake difficulty. It's- it's fake challenge, it's not actually real challenge. Can I fall down there? Yeah, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> uh... Okay, we can at least do that. That's something, right? That seems like something you would want to do, right? But now what? Surely I don't want to touch that, right? That doesn't seem helpful. Uh, yeah, now I'm trapped. <laughs> Good thing I created a checkpoint. There's no jump, so don't even bother trying to tell me to jump. There's no jump in this game. I think I wasn't supposed to come here. <laughs> here, let's- let's not- let's not do this again. Let's- let's go to the normal path, how about that? I'm just glad this game resets so quickly. I don't have to worry about messing up, because I can just restart quite easily. Hmm... Maybe I was supposed to do that then? It just seems so... wrong. Oh, I can do this. What does this do for me? Ah, yes, this makes a lot more sense now. There we go. Wait, but now I'm in the wrong orientation. <laughs> Let's go back, maybe do things the way we did it before, just a little bit. Maybe we don't need it connected there just yet. Oh! So left and right click do do different things. I can actually go back and forth between... Yeah, okay. That's good to know. Although by the time you realize you've clicked the wrong thing, it doesn't matter which which mouse you click anymore, because it's gonna be three clicks either way. And then let's try that. And then we'll head back over here. Click away on that. Whee! There we go. That makes sense. Then we can go around here, supposedly. There we go. And now we just go all the way back. This one was actually somewhat easier than the previous... ...the previous two. But maybe... I don't know, maybe it's just different for everybody. My pinky sure hurts a lot from holding shift. See, like, why are these right next to the entrance? It makes no sense to me. If they're supposed to be some sort of collectible, they're certainly not very hidden. Okay. Why not just start with that state 
I guess. Guess it doesn't matter too much. I do like, though, that these are always positioned such that we look at what we're rotating. That's a- that's a sign of good design and forethought. This guy always freaks me out when it moves like that. And back we go. See what we just connected up. Oh, I see what we connected. Then we press this button and something happens. Ah, this happens. Right. I can just walk around to get there. Don't have to do anything fancy. Wait, but how does this help? I guess I need to do some more rotating then. To make that useful, right? That's what I would guess. Huh. Let's go back for a moment, please. At our very slow walking speed. You let go of shift if you want to crawl, and you hold shift if you want to walk. There's no run. There is no run speed in this game, at all. Is there a way to rotate this? Huh. I can't get on here from here. Am I missing a rotating thing? Have I tried this one yet? Ah, there we go, that's what I needed. And this should be it, right? Yeah, again another easy one. They don't- they don't seem to be paced appropriately. Like, it was a bunch of easy levels, and then two really hard levels, and then we're back to easy levels again. What is that? I guess we're gonna find out what these things are. They seem like they might be portals? Perhaps? What is over here? Nothing much? Okay. Oh, okay. So let's find out what these things are. Oh! Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. How do I get back? Like this, right? Interesting. So what's over here? Another little potted plant, and another thing to rotate? Why would I ever... What? What's that for? Oh, that's for the exit, right. Okay, I see now. What's the best way to go back now? So we need to fall there. How do I know which- like, if there's more than two, how do I know which one's connected to which? Aha! That's what I need to do. And then I just go walk over into this one, and we're good. We're done. Absolutely done. 
It'd be nice if you could actually see through them, but stencil buffers are hard to work with. Portal rendering technology is tricky to get a, the hang of. Right. Where are we now? That seems like an unnecessarily long path to lead to nothing. So let's try going this way first. Ooh. I think I wanted to point at that. That seems to be the only thing that makes sense. And there's that one down there. Do I just want to fall down to this guy? That seems like what I would want to do, right? Cause that still leads to nothing. Yeah. There we go. Oh, what am I- what am I changing here? Oh, there we go. Three times. Okay. And then... did I just go here to go back? Ah oh, yes, this was the path that I thought was useless. This is just a return path. Gotcha. And here's the lovely music. It kinda reminds me of the Minecraft Aether mod, you know? By Emil- the- the music by Emil von Kraken. Or, Emil von Kraken. Kraken, Kraken? I don't know how to say their name. Uh... What do I need to do again? I already lost track of where I needed to go. I rotated something somewhere. I did a thing. That's the exit. Can I point this... over there, perhaps? Ah yes, that does line up. Okay, that makes sense now. Now just go to back and fall through it. It's always scary to fall on this game. Here we go. And, uh... Seems like we're almost done. Hmm. How are we gonna make this work out? Where's the other one? The one that I keep falling into. That one? That's... there's no way I'm gonna... Okay, hmm. Maybe I just need to move that to fall on it from somewhere else. I don't know, let's find out. I don't want to fall into this guy, because I'll just fall right into the sky. Can I fall on that from anywhere? Doesn't really look like it, does it? Maybe I have to rotate something to fall onto it? Not this thing. Let's go back to the other one and rotate that instead. This doesn't seem to be... I think this is the only orientation that would be useful in. 
I've said that before, but this time I think I'm actually right when I say that. Hmm. Let's try rotating it again. Maybe I do need to connect it and I'll see the solution when I move somewhere else. Yep, by the time you've realized you've rotated it in the wrong direction, it's still three clicks no matter what. <laughs> but it is nice that we have the option at least if we know where it is and what way it rotates. We're gonna need it to fall again. Down there? No, oh, that's not the one, right? Did I just fall to the wrong spot? Oh no, I went past it. I- it was behind me. Duh. I'm an idiot. Maybe I'll just connect it like that and we'll figure something out. Cause as of right now, we can't actually do anything with it. Ugh. Yeah, can't do anything. That space, that space. That's the place to land. There's a lot of unnecessary walking right now. Like, why are these all so far away and... In... Why do I have to walk such a distance to get anything done? It feels unnecessarily long. And again, I think this one just is unnecessary to ever rotate or touch at all. Back we go over here. <laughs> like, I get that it's positioned such that we can see what we're rotating, and I appreciate that, but it's also a lot of walking and the sprint key is not very fast. Hmm. Oh, that was weird. There's nothing else to rotate, though. Rotating this isn't gonna make a connect to anything else I can rotate. Can I fall down there? No, I'll just fall to my death.
Where's the thing that has multiple angles it can point at? The thing I fall into and fall out of? Is it this guy? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's this guy that I can rotate. So I think I want this thing. Ah, oh, I see. There we go, maybe. Are those? It didn't look like they were aligned to me, but it looks like... I guess they are aligned. It just didn't look like it to me. Okay. <laughs> the perspective was a bit tricky there. I guess you could say I was... But I'm touch disoriented. Though not really. It was just weird perspective. Ah yes, there we go. That was much simpler than I thought. Turns out I did have to fall on it from somewhere, but it didn't look like it was aligned with the thing I wanted to fall out of. I'm gonna start calling these portals, the little sky portals, yeah. It didn't look like it was aligned, but it was. Ta-da! And I think that's it for, uh, this episode. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!